Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have a featured seller video for you guys. 19 Bolos coming your way, and there are a few that are going to amaze you. Like, seriously, I was like, are you serious? You sold that for that much? Ah, I love an unexpected Bolo. And it's kind of not one that I have much knowledge on, so it's super, you know, just amazing to me. You know, I'm just like, that is so cool. Like, I wish I knew more about that. And I mean, it's really easy to look things up. So it's definitely got my eyes open and my mind thinking. But um, this guy is in my Facebook group. And I don't know if I said 19 bolos is what I'm going to share with you. And he hangs out with the media marauder, who is another YouTuber who does a lot of media, but he also has other vintage items in his store also. But definitely go check out the Media Marauder, also his channel. Um, so this guy, he gave me a little feedback, which is always fun because I don't, um, I don't know a lot of people that I feature. They're just people in my Bolo Buddies group that you know are are members and they have great bolos. But when people give me a little information, it's kind of fun, you know. So this guy works fifty hours a week, and he doesn't have a lot of time to source. So he sources on his lunch breaks, and where he works, there's a shopping center. And um, there's a good goodwill there. And he says that the goodwill people know him. So when he comes in, they'll show him things. And um, he even says, I think one of the items that are that is in the video, some the goodwill person like brought it out to him and said, hey, check this out from the back. So that's really cool. Um, but him and the media marauder, when he does go sourcing, like on a weekend or something like that, they'll go together and, you know, they'll share information and learn together. So that's kind of cool. But he sh this guy sells on eBay and Amazon. He's been reselling for 30 years, but um, he just does it for fun as a hobby. But making money, so kind of a hobby. You know, just not full-time. He works a full-time job. So we're going to get started here. And this first one is super cool. So I'm going to throw that right out there for you. Right in the beginning, you're going to see what he's got. But first, if you haven't subscribed, because I look at my little chart and most of the people, well, not most, there's still a big percentage of people that watch my channel that are not subscribed. So I'm wondering if it's my people in my Facebook group because I post the links, you guys don't subscribe. So if you're not subscribed, please do that. That really helps me out. And I'm going to show you the first video or the first video, the first item. Are you ready? <gasps> I know I'm leading up to it and you're going to be like, I know about that. All right. Well, I think it's super cool. So here we go. And I'm going to tell you that um, he usually buys these items in bulk. Um, he'll buy them on Facebook Marketplace. Um, he bought 871 of these, around 800 of which were sealed for $225. So let's see, what's that come out to? That comes out to not much at all. I don't know. I can't do the math right now. A quarter? Should I do the math? Do you guys want to know the math? So he bought 871 and paid 225. Let me get my calculator. I've got to know. I've got to know. Eight. And I might have done it backwards. Yes, I did. <laughs> oh. Oh. What was it? 870 or 225 divided by 871. 25 cents each. Actually, 20 cents. 26 if you round up. So I check out that math. I'm not feeling so stupid right now. Okay, I figured I was going to be like way off. Okay, so here's the first one. Uh, let me get screen share up. So this is a Tupac cassette. A cassette, you guys, from 1993. It is sealed. How cool is that? And he sold it for a best offer of $70. $70, you guys, for a cassette. Is that amazing? I think that's amazing. Oh my goodness, I think that's amazing. Free shipping, but it's probably media mail, right? So is anybody else selling cassettes? If so, what is your best cassette flip? Comment below. The next one is another cassette, The Beach Boys. Wow. Okay, so this one's sealed also. Got these for a quarter. Like seriously, a quarter. That's just amazing to me. Um, full asking price of $149.99. And I love his little um, 
stand, his little uh, cassette stand. It's probably for like business cards or something, but it's it looks fantastic. Holds it up there just perfectly. This is a NAS. I don't even know what this band uh, band is. Illumatic, Illumatic. I don't know. Either way, it does say parental advisory. So it's um, probably got some bad language in it, I'm guessing. But that did not keep this from selling for $150 with fast and free shipping. Let's see. I think he might be talking about this one. Okay. This one sold for full asking price of $49.99. This is Mecca and the Soul Brother. So man, if I see sealed cassettes, I'm definitely going to look at them. These look like most of them are wrap. And maybe these guys don't wrap anymore. So people collect them. And then, you know, the, the Beach Boys, that one, you know, is older also. So maybe they're just not singing anymore. I don't know. This one's cool. It's a rare Walt Disney Mickey Mouse doll watch. So it's got a doll and a watch. How cool is that? And he got this from a Goodwill for $9.99. It was numbered out of 5,000 and he took a best offer of $100 with free shipping. This Thomas the Train Trackmaster Tidmouth Sheds. Show you the, and this looks like it's the plastic pieces. I sell, I've been selling the wood and I've done really well with that, but this is plastic. Um, took a best offer of 95. It was used and I couldn't get the train to work. I picked it up from the Goodwill for $7 and 99 cents. So, even with the train not working, he sold it for that. That's awesome. Okay. Sportsman film capstick, six DVDs, hunting elephant, rhino, buffalo, lion, African safari. Sold it for best offer of 40. These I picked up for a quarter each for a total of $1.50. I pass by stuff like this all the time. Crazy. Now these are Startomatic baseball. Are they cards? What are they? Let's see. Don't know. Games? Huh. Oh, it's a game, maybe. Not really sure what it is. Yeah, it's some sort of game. Interesting. I'm definitely gonna be on the lookout for it. Look at that sold price. Here we go. There we go. That's what we're looking for right there. Okay. So I sold it for full asking price of $199.99. These are role-playing type baseball game. And when you find them complete, they are very sought after. I paid a dollar each for these. And this was a lot of four of them. Therefore, $4 for all of them at Restore Habitat of Humanity. Okay, so he sold four of them. I was definitely confused. Super cool. So about 50 bucks each. All right, Chivalry and Sorcery, Fantasy Games Unlimited. Is this a book or a DVD? Let me see. Another game. Why do I think everything is like a book? It's a game. Hmm. Interesting. Doesn't it look like a book? Doesn't look like a game. Anyway. Another huge sale sold for full, full asking price of $174.99. This is an early 80s, late 70s role-playing game similar to Dungeons & Dragons paid a dollar at Restore Habitat for Humanity. I don't have one of those around me. Carrera Digital 132 Laser Dakota 500 Slot Car. Now, I know slot cars can definitely be a bolo. And it looks like he found one. This one... He got at the Goodwill for 25 bucks and he sold it for 165 best offer. Samuel Adams signed. This is the one that the Goodwill had sitting in the back for him. How nice of them. And 
maybe it wasn't sitting in the back waiting on him, but when he came in, they knew it was back there and they showed him. Uh, sold best offer of 165, paid six at the, at the Goodwill with fast and free shipping. The next item is this Electron Telsa wall charger adapter sold for $125. I bought this at a pallet sale place that sells everything in the store for $5 each on the weekends. Is, what does it charge? I mean, why is it so special? Hmm. Interesting. Does anybody know what that, like, is it a special charger for like something special? Hmm. Let me see. To charge your electric vehicle. Ah, that makes sense. Do we have our electric vehicles like a thing already? I thought like only like prototypes were out. I don't know. No, that's that's not that. That's I'm thinking of the self-driving cars. Those are weird. I'm sorry, but I am not going to trust a car to drive me around. Oh, what about you guys? Do you think? What do you? How do you feel about not having control of your car and it just drives? <laughs> that is creepy. Creepy. Okay. Uh, Le Catote Flak Sack Sport Lightweight Threat Resistant Drawstring Backpack. He's got some cool stuff for sure. Um, took a best offer of 80. Got this at the pallet place for $5. That is super cool. Huh, I never would have thought that that would be worth $80. Here's another game. It's 1991 Play Dirt Football Strategy Board Game. Let's see if I can get you the front of the box. I like seeing the front of the boxes. That's how I um, remember. There it is. And you got this. Restore for Habitat, or Restore Habitat for Humanity, a dollar. Sold it for $89.99. Amazing. Patrick Mahomes Playoff Rookie, looks like a card. This came from his personal football card collection, and he accepted a best offer of $110 for it. So it must have been an auction, and then somebody sent him an offer, and he took it, because it always still shows you the original price. Smappy home energy monitor for smarter homes. Smappy. If he says he got this for $5 at that place, I'm going to be like, are you kidding me? Like think how much money that place could be making if they were putting their stuff on eBay. I sold for full asking price of $149.99. I purchased it at all at Goodwill for $5. Wow. But still five bucks. That's awesome. Eva Rawson stand Clara Weaver cross stitch kit. So again, I talked about this in another video recently. It does not have to be dimensions to make good money. Always look up cross stitch. Some of them are major bolos. Um, sold for full asking price of $64 and 99 cents. I got it in a lot of cross stitch patterns at Goodwill for a total of $5 for about 30 of them. That is fantastic. Wow. $5 seems to be his lucky number. This Chase Authentics Dale Arn Air oh, it's another word that I always mess up. Is it Earnhardt or Earnhardt? 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 Senior jacket. Anyway, you guys know what I mean. Uh, he got this at the Goodwill for $3.49 and it sold for $79.99 with free shipping. The next item is this 1998 vintage single stitch Titanic movie t-shirt. I love this. This is like so unexpected to me. Um, he did take a best offer of 50, but still, I think that's fantastic. And he purchased it for $2 and 19 cents at the Goodwill. So fun, fun. All right. I'm going to take you into a store and let's see what else he's selling. You want to go to highest first? I always like to do that. All right. Let's see. So he's got some more cassette tapes. So he does a lot of CDs, cassettes, but he's got a nice mix of stuff for sure. So I will have a, um, in the, oh my goodness, I am sorry. I will have a link in the description of the video to his store. If you guys would like to go and check it out, looks like he's got lots of goodies. And um, 
as always, thank you all so much for watching and being here. And if you have a place where you can share the video that you think people would um, like to learn about items to be on the lookout for, definitely share it and hit that thumbs up. And if you hit the bell when you subscribe, or um, if you're already subscribed, you go in and hit that little, it's like a bell, little bell. And um, if you hit that, it'll alert you when I post new videos. So it's a nice little feature that um, YouTube offers to send you like an email alert when I go live or when I release a video. So thank you all for watching. And I know I say so a lot. It's one of my things. I just do it. I say, oh, so, and I say, okay. And um, sorry, it's just one of my things I do. All right, you guys are awesome. Have a great night and I'll see you soon. And now I'm waving. <laughs> I've been doing that at the end of my videos. Is that cheesy? Tell me what you think. And if you made it to the end of the video, comment I made it to the end of the video to the crazy girl that is still waving. <laughs> All right, night guys.